Howdy guys, welcome back to another one. In today's video, we're gonna do a breakdown on Federal High Brass Load 410. Two and a half inch, one half ounce of seven and a half shot. And these say they're going 1200 FPS. Max dram equivalent, I don't know about that. I've seen half ounce 410 all the way up to at least 1300. I don't know. Today's snooze and drink combo is Coca-Cola Spiced Zero Sugar, which tastes like a raspberry-filled donut. I mentioned that in a previous video, I think. And Cronin Loose. This is a uh, herbal-flavored snooze. It's just a bunch of green herbs. And if you don't know, I imagine not a lot of you would unless you're Swedish. Cronin means crown. It's all in Swedish. Anyway, here's what the box looks like. We do have some birds in the background as well as on the top. This side is just a bunch of warnings. If you want to read anything, just pause it, as always. The back of it is some info about Game Shock high brass loads. Carefully crafted, uh, I guess, premium features. Hard shot, triple plus wad column. Uh, does have a plastic shot cup. Separate cushioning and gas sealing unit. I don't think that 410 shells actually have a separate well, I know some wads do, but I don't think these do. High plated steel head for reliable ejection. It's kind of hard for me to read. I have the box kind of away from my face a little bit, and I'm reading it through a phone uh, camera. But this side is just more warnings, and the back of, back of it, bottom, is just, again, more warnings. A lot of warnings on that box, I have to say. But we have a maroon hull, which is federal standard color for 12, 28, and 410. We do have a federal 209A primer. The head stamp just says 410, nothing else. A very tall brass head for 410 anyway. It is steel plated brass, however, not real brass. Obviously, this hull is ribbed like most straight wall shells are. There are a few exceptions to that, but not many. And we do have a six point crimp with a pretty decent taper on it and uh, the crimp is kind of octagon shape it's not the best thing in the world but 410 is notoriously hard to crimp yep two and a half inch shell standard 410 here so here's what the shot looks like now federal standard shot always looks like this it is not dark and shiny nor is it always uniformly round and everything like that no this shot looks uh, kind of rough to be honest it is multiple sizes. I see everything from what looks to be six shot down to eight. If you look right here, center of the screen at the bottom of the row, you'll notice that one is actually way shinier and noticeably smaller than the one right above it and to the right. So yeah, mixed sizes, not the prettiest shot in the world, but certainly will get the job done. And it does weigh right at half an ounce, 0.505. We probably have one or two more pellets than an ounce and a half of lead seven and a half shot. I say seven and a half shot and I just showed you guys that it's all mixed sizes. Oh well. And it looks like we have 12 of yet another ball powder. This is all I've ever seen in 410, just a ball powder. Which is kind of to be expected. Ball powders are very dense, takes up a lot less room. Now, you'll notice this box right here says at the line above the bottom line, separate cushioning and gas sealing unit made of tough plastic for a better cold weather performance. I don't really think that means anything. But this wad obviously does not have a separate cushioning and gas sealing unit. I'm pretty sure what's happened here is they have just copy and pasted this from 12, 20, 16 who knows whatever else gauge they make these in which i think is all but 10 and 24 and 32 but that's besides the point i'm pretty sure it's just copy and paste text because this obviously does not have a cushion section at all nor is anything separate the wad is all one piece but it does have three pedals they are all cut uniformly and straight unlike one of the other shells i have done a breakdown video on recently so that's always a good thing to see this is not a non-tox wad, it is just a regular lead shot wad. The pedals are somewhat thin, and it's not nearly as rigid as the Winchester wad was. Which, that one only had two pedals, they were stitched, and again, a lot thicker pedals. So, 
I don't think this load will pattern quite as good as the Winchesters do, but I've been wrong about stuff like that before. I'm going to go ahead and apologize because you really can't see this too well, but I shined a light down it. And it is a fiber base wad, and it is fairly low. The primer is just about flush with it. I guess you would call that a medium height base wad. But once again, it is a fiber base wad, which tells me that this is a haul Federal actually makes. It's not a Rio or anything else. This is probably made in-house. Could be wrong, though. And here it is put back together. You can see we do have a somewhat better taper than it had out of the box. However, the crimp itself, yeah, it's still kind of ugly. There was really no helping it. The plastic on this hull has kind of been set in its ways for a while. This is a little bit older box and stack height was quite high. The shot was overfilling the wad quite a bit. But anyway, there is Federal's high brass load, 410, two and a half inch, one half ounce of seven and a half shot. Pretty cool shell. We've shot a lot of these, or at least I have growing up. I don't know how many boxes, but I'd have to say probably 30 or 40. I've had my 410 for 20 years and I am 29 years old. And I still have all of the hauls. Well, most of them anyway. We've done burnt some of them up and I have cut a few up over the years just messing with them. But I wanna say I probably have about 200 of these if I had to guess. But anyway, guys, we'll see you in the next one.